Hi friends, this is the activity video that goes along with the book, The Little Red Hen Makes a Pizza. For this activity today, you'll need a piece of paper, something to write with, and something to color with if you have it. In today's story, you might have noticed that the biggest difference about this book, it says in the title that she's going to make a pizza. In all the other books that we read, she makes bread, but in this version, she makes a pizza, which is really fun. You also might have noticed that when we got to her pizza, that she put a lot of toppings on it. I see things like bacon, there's some spinach, broccoli, fish, pineapple, kind of a little bit of everything. Today for our writing, we're going to do some fun, creative writing. And we're going to be writing about if you made a pizza, what toppings would you put on your pizza? So start to think about your favorite kind of pizza and what do you like to put on your pizza. When you're ready to get started, we'll start by putting our name at the top of our paper. And then we'll leave a really big space because you can draw a really big pizza like they had in the book with all of your favorite toppings on it. You could even draw a picture of yourself eating that pizza if you wanted to. Today we're going to be using a sentence frame for your writing, so I'll give you a few words at the beginning, we'll leave a space for your own writing in the middle, and then I'll give you a few more words at the end. Today for our sentence frame we're going to be writing, I, popcorn word, would, give you the spelling of that one, put, popcorn word, then we'll leave our spaces in the middle, and then our words at the end are going to say on popcorn word, my popcorn word, and then we're going to borrow pizza from the cover of the book. So that is your sentence frame for today. It says, I would put blank, that's where you're going to write what you would put, on my pizza. If I was making a pizza, one of my favorite, I like lots of veggies on my pizza, so I might write a couple of different ones here. But some of my favorite veggies to put on my pizza are artichokes and mushrooms. So for my sentence, I want to say, I would put artichokes and mushrooms on my pizza. So that's a lot of stretching, but I'm going to do my best with those words today. I would put artichokes. Artichokes is kind of a funny word. I hear a name of a special at the beginning, art, and I remember how to spell that from our schedule. So I'm going to use what I know about that word. Art, eh, 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 ch, 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 o, k, k, k. I'm not sure. I'm going to guess that it's this k sound. I did hear O say its name in the middle, so I'm going to guess there's a magic letter at the end. Artichokes, artichokes, that was tricky, but I think I did pretty good. Artichokes and popcorn word. I'm going to split the word mushroom in half and work on each part on its own. First, I'm going to start with mush. Mm, uh, uh, sh oh, that's a digraph sound. Mush, now I need room. Ooh, ooh, oh, Miss Brandy taught me that last week. Ooh, mm -hmm. mushrooms, awesome. Let's go back and read it. I would put artichokes and mushrooms on my pizza. Excellent. My sentence frame sounds good, and I'm happy with how it turned out. For my picture, I would probably want to show both of those things on my pizza, and if I wanted to, I could add a picture of myself eating that pizza, which would be very delicious. Now I'm hungry. All right, if you would like to send a picture of your work to the teachers, we would love to see it, and we will send you back a compliment. 